parts of uh, Thailand, especially these rural areas like the north, um, the scooter and the motorbike are kind of the essential means of transportation. Uh, you know, maybe a family can only afford one car or no car, but a scooter or motorbike, you know, especially used, everybody can afford that. And so that's a, kind of a common theme in all my videos is a lot of scooters. And, you know, it's not unusual to see an entire family, you know, going from one place to another on a scooter. Um, so, you know, these are a huge part of the culture and a huge part of transportation and everyday life here. All right, it's early in the morning and I'm riding my scooter around. Maybe a little fast, maybe a little slow, I don't know. Looking for some soft-shelled turtles in these irrigation canals. Um, last time I was here, I did see one soft-shell, so I was hoping early in the morning I might have a chance, but man, it, the sun hits hard here and it hits quick. And I'm thinking it might actually be too late in the morning, uh, but I'm gonna keep looking. All right, let's keep going. This is the exact spot last time I was here, three years ago, where I saw a soft-shelled turtle. Um, obviously, he's not here now. So, uh, I don't know if he's still here, hiding out. I mean, this is a huge canal, so uh, very likely just not seeing him, but um, it's already almost 100 degrees, so I'm gonna go take it easy for a while and come back out in the evening. thrown together with some plastic and some bags of stuff. Okay, <laughs> So right now I'm wading around in a river. I don't even know what river it is. Uh, but they're looking for clams. Having a good time. Feels good to be in some water. So welcome break from how cold it is back home. That would be a killer piece of driftwood for a pond. Look at that thing. Somebody's random unattended fishing pole. Can't tell if that's bait. I think it's bait. It looks like it's hooked in through the gill or something. Not sure what they're fishing for. I'm gonna walk this area, see if I see anything. Looks really good. Definitely some creatures in the bushes up there. So normally all of this is completely underwater. But right now it's the dry season, and the dry season is dry. Oh my gosh, so much of this is just isolated to these kind of little pools like this. I'm hoping maybe we'll see a turtle, but I'm not holding my breath. Really, it seems like most of them are pretty much gone. People eating them and dragging them to temples and stuff it really seems to lower the actual number of wild turtles. <clears throat> hoping to see a snake, but also getting close to about 100 degrees right now. There used to be crocodiles kind of throughout Thailand, the Siamese crocodile, and there's pretty much none of those anymore too. So yeah, that's one of the things about Thailand and really all of Asia and Southeast Asia is just, people just relentlessly were eating turtles for hundreds of years. Kind of a bad sign for what could happen, you know, back in the U.S. and other places. Uh, Asia used to be number one in turtle diversity, and I think now uh, 
the southeastern U.S. is. And uh, it's just because you know, they lost so many species and eaten most of them into oblivion. It's just a bummer. You know, I, I wouldn't be happy with myself if I didn't try, even though it might be foolhardy. Um, I feel like I have to try. I mean, this is that's what I created a YouTube channel for, right? Doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> Pigeons. All right, so I started on the other side of the bridge down there. Walked all of this all the way to there. Came up through this sawgrass. Now I'm up here.